morning children good morning my friend i hope you have slept well last night welcome to my zone online school my name is teacher mudabeti our week's theme we are going to look at summer but before we continue with our lesson for today let us sanitize our hands we spray right inside our hands. We rub it through, out, between our fingers. Thank you, we have done it. Today's lesson, we are going to look at mathematics. Today's topic, we are going to learn how to count in twos. All right, we are going to count in twos. We will just end up to 24 and downwards. You can continue alone at home. All right, what do we do when we count in two? When we are counting in two, we have to know that we skip one number in between. Okay, so when we are starting, we are starting from the two. But what do we do? We skip the first one, the one, we skip it. We count the two. And we skip the three, we count the four. So let's try this. Let's keep one number and count the rest, the ones that I'll be pointing. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-four. Thank you. There, you got it. You have to always keep one number in between. And the next one is the one that you have to count when you are counting in two. So now let's look at page three and see what we can do there. Let's open on page three. We are going to focus on the top exercise for the grade two. But the grade threes as well, you are most welcome to listen because you are doing this for your revision to remind yourselves. Okay, so the grade twos, I would like you to complete the number lines which are given on page three. Starting with the two, the first number line, what will be the next number? Four, of course, will be the next number. So then you skip one number, you write in the box, you write in another box, and then you finish that one. You continue with the second number line, they have started on 12. 12 also, we are counting it as we are counting in two. So continue skipping one number and find out the numbers that are missing in the boxes. Then we are going to continue with the grade three. The grade threes, theirs is a bit challenging. But we have learned how to count from 100 up to 200. Therefore, this will not be of a big, big challenge that you cannot do. I know you can do it. So let's start counting. When we are looking at number one, what are we counting in? We are counting in twos. Therefore, I would like you to fill in the two numbers that they have left out for us. So when you check 120, then we go to 122. Then what number should follow? Remember to skip one number in between when you are counting in twos. We go, we go to number two. In number two, remember we have learned how to count in five. We have learned how to count in tens. We have learned now how to, we have revised now how to count in twos. Therefore, before you start filling in the numbers, don't just fill in the counting of two. You have to first check the numbers that are given to you in order of you to know which number are they counting in. Then that will be easy for you. Now let's see number two. 135, 140, 145. What are they counting in? Are they still counting in two? No, no, no. So find out in which number are they counting in. If they are counting in five, then continue filling in the two numbers. And you continue to number three. Number three is a bit challenging, but they have made it simple for us by giving us the two last numbers. Therefore, the two last numbers, they will give us a clue in which sequence are they counting in. So check the last number, 192, and then 194. So these people here, they have given us a bit of a thinking 
we have to start with a big number and we are counting downwards but in which number are we counting in so when we check 192 194 then we can get our clue there in which numbers are they counting in so find out for me and then write the numbers you continue with number four as well number four they count 90 then they go to 80 and they will go to which number then they give us 60 50 40 and they jump one number they go down to 20 and 10 they are counting backwards but in which number are they counting backwards is it still in two or in five find out by the numbers that they have given you and the last one is where you check the numbers number five you start with the last three numbers number 80 85 and 90 so in which number are they counting in they are counting in two or in five or in in ten my friend here can you just try to help me what do you think they are counting in they are counting from eight 85 90 what do you think they are counting in very good a big a big hand of applause there and i know even you at home you can still do it thank you very much let's turn on to page four we are going to start with the grade twos there is a number chart up to 50 but this is so simple i know my grade twos can do this since we have already learned how to count so just fill in the missing numbers there and then you go to the second activity there under just practice writing your number names practice writing your number names you close your eyes and you write the number name and see if you know it while the grade twos are busy with their activity let's go to page five for the grade threes all right grade threes we have our table there and we are counting they are telling us we are going to count in five up to 100 so what we are going to do on the first table we have to fill in the numbers that we have learned how to count when we are counting in five so fill them in i'm sure this one also is very easy for you since we have learned that and continue with counting in tens as well up to number um, up to 100 you are going to fill in the numbers that are missing there and i hope you still remember how to count in 10 how do we count in 10 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 100 there you got it so please just fill in the numbers there and under there there is a challenging one you are not going to get these numbers anywhere where they are written but i know for sure that you still remember how to write the number names so we are going to write the number names from number 11 up to 20. so please try and write them there in the lines we are going to learn about the even and the odd numbers I'm sure you still remember what is an odd number and what is an even number but i'm going to remind you the even numbers are the numbers that we count when we are counting in twos remember what we said when we are counting in two we skip a number and we count the next one we skip we count the next one those are the numbers that we count in two and those are our even numbers we skip a one we count a two we skip a three we count a four so these ones that i'm counting is i'm counting in in twos are my even numbers therefore my odd numbers will be the ones that i'm skipping every number that i have skipped is my odd numbers so a one is an odd number three five seven nine eleven and we continue those are my odd numbers don't forget that so let's go to page six and see what exercise sizes are there to do for the grade twos i have an exercise for you oh it's a very simple one so i would like you to color in for me all the odd numbers in green please color all the odd numbers in green remember the odd numbers yes you do and color all the even numbers in blue use color blue for the even numbers and color green for the odd numbers 
The next exercise is very simple. I would like you to circle, put a round circle around all the numbers which are odd. All the odd numbers, remember what are odd numbers. You skip them when you are counting in two. Now we can go to page seven. On page seven is a bit of a challenge, but I'm going to explain to you nicely how you can get to the answer. Let's look at the first example that they have given us. Remember what you have learned when we learned about the place values. We have learned about place values. The first example that they are giving us is a 12. So we are going to break down the number 12. When we are breaking down the number 12, how do we break it down? Remember the place values? A two, what place value does it have? A two is a unit. And the one is a tens. So how many tens do we have? How many units do we have? So we have only one ten. Therefore, we write our ten plus. And how many units? Remember, the units are just like that. So the unit is a two and it remains a two. Therefore, we write our two there. So we have broken down this twelve. We have broken it down. So that is how we do it. Now I would like you to do the others and see if you are able to break down the 17 as well. Now do the 17, number 1 and do 22 and do number 3, number 4 and number 5 in the same way. You just have to find out which one is the tens and which one is the unit. Let me try to do for you number 3 as it looks like it's a challenging when the units will change from a one. What do we do? Okay, number three is 35. How do we break down 35? Remember to put the place values. That is a unit and a three is a 10. Therefore, how many tens do we have here? We have how many tens? Three. Count the tens. 10. 10 and 10. Therefore, it's a what? A 30, 10, 20, 30. Therefore, you have a 30. Plus, how many units do we have? Remember, the units remains. We don't have to count how many. Then, same number is a unit. Unit means one. Therefore, a five remains. That is how we have broken down that number. Therefore, now I would like you to do the others which we didn't do. Number one, number two, number three, and number five. Please enjoy it. That was the grade two. The grade three, please, you can do that. You start with the grade two work just to revise and remind yourselves. And so now let's look at your work, grade threes. Yours is a bit challenging, just a bit. But if you know your place values, it's also not that difficult. So let's do the example that they have given us. Why did they do it that way? I'm going to explain to you. Okay, so they have given us the first one there, the example. So I'm going to do for you number one. I'm going to do for you number one to plus. When you plus, you first break down your numbers and then you get to the answer. It's not that difficult. We have 55 plus... 32. So how do we break the number? How do we plus that big number? The first thing we are going to do, we are going to break it down first. So in a 55, remember, we have the place values. Don't forget them. Don't forget the place values. So we are going to first add the tens and then we add the units. So we break it down first. 55 that will be 50 plus a 5. And here we are going to have 30 plus a 2. Now we add together the 10s first. So we add 50 and 30 first. So the next step is a 50 and a 30. Then we are going to add a 5 and a 2. Yes. 
Now, this will be very easy for us to get to the final answer. 50 plus 30. What will be the answer? It will be 80. And then 5 plus 2. These are units, remember? So, plus 7. Now, what is our final answer? Now, it's very easy when it reaches here because it's just to say 80 plus 7 is equal to 87. So, our answer will be 87. I hope you are following all the steps. It's not very difficult. Né? Okay, try the others and see if you can get them in the same way. Thank you. Okay, when we go to page 8, we are going to learn about the multiplication of 2. What do we do when we multiply by 2? Remember, to multiply means repeated addition. You are repeating to add the number. For example, the example that they have given us on page 8, 2 times 1. How do we get to the answer? It is repeated addition. So, 2 times 1. How many times should we add a 1? We add it 2 times. Therefore, we say 1 plus 1. So, what is the answer? Our answer is 2. So, 2 times 1. Now, we know the answer is 2. Let me give you the second example. If we say 2 times 4, what will be our answer? Don't forget to repeat adding the number. 2 times the 4, meaning the 4 will be added 2 times. So, 4 plus 4. What is 4 and 4? You can use your fingers or you can use your counters or the stones, whatever you get in place. 4 plus 4 is equal to 8. So, I would like you to finish all the answers which are in the circle, in the outer circle. Your answers, you must put them nicely in the outer circle. That is the end of our lesson for today. I hope you remember what we have learned today. We have learned how to count. We have learned how to identify the odd numbers and the even numbers. And for now, I would like you to sit nicely at home, relax, and do all your revision of what we have done. Now we are going to sanitize again before we go. Let us sanitize. A nice spray inside of the hand. Nice rubbing outside and between the fingers. Nice. That was wonderful. Thank you very much. Now we are going to call our friend Zoshi just to say goodbye. Hi everyone, I'm Zoshi. And Simon says, don't touch your face, your eyes, your nose, and your mouth, unless your hands are super clean. <laughs>